rich kids. A girl could never have too many bags. This jacket was £700. The cost of living crisis means absolutely nothing to them. I have been to some dinners and the bill has been upwards of like 20 here. I have two holiday houses, one in the Isle of Wight and one in Gozo. All that's about to change. Oh my God. Ten brand new rich kids are about to live with typical British families living on the breadline. Are they coming in a helicopter? <laughs> I think they'll have all designer gear on. Five handbags, three suitcases. They'll experience what it really means to struggle. I'll sacrifice anything I have for him to eat. Not having to choose between eating and eating. How will the people from completely different sides of the tracks get on? If I would stay here, I would probably like feel the need to like hoover the entire room. At the end of the day, that's your problem. That's not the government's problem. It's all I ever wanted from this visit. So thank you. Thank you so much. <sighs> Rich kids go skins. My name is Navina and I'm 20 years old. I would say I'm privileged, yeah. Rich kid Navina is a third year law student based in Dulwich, South London. I want to be a lawyer because being a lawyer comes with power and authority. My main kind of motivation is for money, just to maintain the lifestyle where I live. She's a fast talker, but also a hard worker. I have worked at different law firms, and I also was given access to a savings account when I was 18 years old, which also helps fund my lifestyle. She was also given a flat where she lives rent-free. The place I live in now was given to me by my parents. I think the property value is around half a million. And her clothes don't come cheap either. This is my new winter coat, and this was like 325. I don't know, I don't think it's real fair. So this is my eyes on McQueen scarf I wear as a top. I think I got this for around like 260. Oh, it has raised on it. I never even realized that. This is my Louis Vuitton bag, 1,500. I think if I had to calculate my entire wardrobe, I think it'll probably be upwards of like 10K. That's a costly closet for most people. I think the family who I'm going to go stay with I'll probably shop from lower end brands. But unlike the family she's about to meet, Navina has never had to count her pennies. I don't really worry about um, my expenses, how much I'm spending on food. I think I live relatively comfortably. I love going out for dinners with just like my close friends. I have been to some dinners and the bill has been upwards of like 20 here. She's happy to splash out on fine dining and also fine art. I do love going to like art galleries, but kind of express like my creative side. But her creative side doesn't include actually creating things. I don't like making stuff. I don't have the patience to make something. Instead, her favourite pastime is shopping. I just love walking around London and going into shops. Yeah. Like, I just buy stuff impulsively sometimes. So I don't think I could really stop myself from buying stuff. And when the temptation to shop gets too much, she jets off overseas. This year, I think I've probably gone, like, more than, like, 25 flights. Paris, Menorca, Ibiza. I do have a house in Spain. I do love the option just to go there and top up my tan. I arrived my house in Spain, and the first thing I want to do is get my pool. It's such a hot day today, so I cannot wait to get in. It's super big, super nice. Where should we go next? So what does Jet Setter Navina think about people on benefits? So basically, they're supported by the government, right? That's what it is. I don't have that much experience of knowing people who are on benefits or have any personal experience. I would say a person living the bread nice lifestyle may differ to mine from yeah. lack of fresher food, like better food, and opportunity to enjoy like free time on the weekends. Despite the differences, does she think she'll get along with the family? I definitely hope the family will like me. I hope they don't judge me. I feel like I can get along with a lot of people, so I think it'll be fine. Well, she'll find out soon enough when she goes to stay with the Ellery family. We are the Ellerys. This is Matt. I'm Leah, and we have three children, Lily, Wyatt and Eli. Their North London council flat is crammed to the cobwebs by the family of five. So our family is a handful. From the moment they get out to the moment they go to bed, it's just non-stop. <laughs> our daughter Lily has some additional needs. She was born premature and has cerebral palsy, dystonia, severe developmental delay, and she is blind. As full-time carers, the Ellerys get all their income from benefits. I always worked 
from 16 up until I had to sort of give it up to stay at home and take care of Leah, take care of Lily. So living the way that we live now was a bit of a shock. bit of a shock and a bit of a change. Matt previously worked as a baker, but today he's not making any dough. There's 66 PPT well. Just essential range rice left over from the other day, so I'm just going to do egg fried rice with some chicken, and we've got uh, some tuna pasta as well, which we'll use up tomorrow. You know, you can't be too picky when you're, you know, living on a budget. Some chicken, and we've got uh, some tuna pasta as well, which we'll use up tomorrow. You know, you can't be too picky when you're, you know, living on a budget. Shall we do some washing up? Yeah. Even the youngest Ellery has to pitch in. It's good to get, uh, teach him early, though, you know. You've got to do some chores around the house. Do you like doing chores? Um, yeah. Yeah? But economic woes are really doing their heads in. The cost of living crisis has obviously affected us massively. So what, what was it before? About 60. And what is it now? About 180 a year. Is that a week? Hmm. That's a massive jump. And that's just for this month. I mean, next month it could go up again. Our uh, food budget's like times four for what it normally is. Probably going to have to do some sacrifices to get through next month because I just wasn't expecting it to be that much. Constant struggle. It's all right. Yeah. Matt and Leah have had to find cost-conscious ways of chilling out. Playing games, I, you know, I get out of my head a, bit, a little bit because I spend a bit too much time up there. I can't afford it when they first come out, so you have to wait a year or so for it to drop in price. So my biggest love in life is definitely art, whether it's me creating or just enjoying other people's art. If I had money, I'd definitely have my own craft room, but it's definitely getting to the point now where I can't afford to spend anything on the craft and stuff. Yeah, we're going to go out. Activities for the whole family are an even bigger challenge. We try and spend as much time as we can outside the house, but it is quite a difficult doing it with the boys and Lily at the same time. So it does tend to be that one of us will take the boys out and the other will stay with Lil. I would just love to do something all together. Come on. Something yeah, we, we don't really do. do anything as a family unit. So how do they feel about a wealthy addition to their household? I think we're quite nervous about meeting the rich kid. You know, families come in all different shapes and sizes, and, you know, sometimes they just have to make do. Naveena's meeting her friend Chisabem, who has some questions about Naveena's mystery hosts. Have you met them at Muse? No, I don't know who it's going to be. I don't know who, who I'm going to stay with. I mean, probably going to have to be sharing spaces with people. I think the main thing is just my personal space. That's like a really big thing for me. Yeah. Are you scared of that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least she's not afraid of spiders. If they have kids, like, I'm good with kids, so... Hi! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can be. Kids can be a lot, though. Yeah. What if you have to babysit them or something? No, I know. I'll just see. I'll just see. It sounds really crazy, <laughs> I can't lie. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm gonna come back as a new person. Yeah, no, I think that's me. That's why I, I think I want to do that. I wish you good luck <laughs> and safe travels. I'll call you when I'm there. <laughs> you better. With those warming words from her best friend, Navina is on her way. On the other side of London, the Ellery family are awaiting their wealthy visitor. Can you see anyone down there? I can't. You can't. I think they're going to learn a lot. I'm not quite sure if they've been near a council property, let alone in one. <laughs> I'm always open to learning new things, maybe changing my perspective of the one percent, should I say. <laughs> this one percenter is getting her own new perspective. Yeah, I kind of just sat here taking it in. I don't really know where we're going. I don't really recognise the area. I don't think I've really been to this part of London before. But she's seen it dozens of times out of the plane window. The fear is building in Hackney, too. How are you feeling this morning? Scared today. I wouldn't be scared. I wouldn't be scared, mate. No, you're making a new friend. After a journey of almost 13 miles, Navina arrives in East London. Oh, is that him? 
So we've arrived, but it doesn't look too bad for right, from like right now, my first initial reaction. Ooh. I think my intensity comes from the fact that I just don't know what I'm walking into right now. I don't know what the house is going to be like. I don't know just the environment we're going to have to live in. Nothing says welcome like giant spiders. Coming up, Navina's tastes are expanded. What do you think? All good? So <laughs> nice. And her eyes are opened. Like, seeing your situation is... Rich kid Navina has left her flash South London apartment for the Hackney hinterlands. The really recognised area. I don't think I've really been to this part of London before. And a weekend with a family of Halloween obsessives on benefits. I'm always open to learning of the one percent, shall I say? <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello, I'm Matt. Lovely to meet you. I'm Navina. Navina, this is Leah. Lovely to meet you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Awkward handshake. Nerves are showing. Now, do you want to come in? Thank you. Take a seat. Oh, welcome. <laughs> this is our little flat. Uh, well, what do you what do you think? Yeah, I mean, it's slightly different to my house. Or mm. yeah. Yeah, there's a there's a lot to take in, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, my first impressions were they're obviously a fan of Halloween, like spider decorations everywhere. It's all very cluttered, compact. A lot going on, a lot to digest. Actually, very very different to what I'm used to in my house. And this is the kitchen. Yeah, it's quite a sizable kitchen, isn't it? Got quite a lot of space. Enough to swing a child around. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't mean that literally. Let's hope. I'm noticing a lot of like Halloween stuff going on. Yeah, that'd be yeah. me. A bit obsessed. <laughs> a little little theme of the house. Yeah. So this is the boys' room. We're both the boys. <laughs> both the boys. Little this one's oh, Eli. Eli, we have got wire up there. <laughs> Matching hair. Can you say hello? Hi. Hi. He's being all shy now. Oh. <laughs> how, how many bedrooms do you have? I have a two-bedroom flat. So oh, my room and then it's just a spare room. Spare guest room? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd have a craft room. You would have a craft room. I'd have yeah. a nice spare room just for people. <laughs> so is uh, your flat the only property your family own? Uh, my family have a few properties. Mm. One in Scotland, um, one abroad. Oh. So yeah, it's always nice I can kind of go somewhere else when I just want like, a break from London. Nice yeah, to get away, good. isn't it? Yeah, no, it's good. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Looks like Naveen is planning to get away right now. The Ellerys have a system for teaching their kids the value of money from an early age. Right, this, is, um, this is our star chart for the boys. So if they're good or do their chores, they get a star, and a star equals one pound. If they get a 50-50, they've been good, but they haven't been great, equals 50p. And if they get a cloud, that means they get nothing that day. And then they can spend it on what they want. That seems like a really good system. Mm. It works. It works. Yeah. Uh, so did you have anything like this when you were growing up, to earn pocket money or do chores or anything like that? No, I never had anything quite similar. The way that they manage their family is very different to, to what I'm used to, but the fact that they are all very content with what they have is really, really nice to see. This is Lily's room. Hello, princess. Hello. Ooh. So this is Lily, our eldest. Nice to meet you. <laughs> She's 11 and she was born premature. So she has a few conditions. Um... Can't walk, but she bum shuffles very well. Yeah. yeah. And she's coming to say hi. And she's coming to say Hello. hi. Hello. She's a bit tired. She was up early this morning. I see. Yeah, yeah. she does get up anywhere between 11 o'clock at night and 3 o'clock in the morning sometimes. Oh, OK. So it can be a bit of a nightmare. Yeah. How often does she really just, like, disrupt your sleep in the week? I'd say it's about five times out of the week. She, she's not oh, really? That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's a lot. Yeah. It's really it's frequent. A lot. So do you have any siblings? Yeah, I'm one of four. I have oh. two brothers and sister. I'm, I'm the oldest. So, um. yeah, I know it's like to live in a hectic household. But, yeah. <laughs> Oh, are you oh. going to say hello? Hello. Hmm. You're hello. not sure? Yeah, Mummy's here. The fact that there's five of them living in this flat, and I live in a flat, like, bigger than this, and it's only me, I am kind of realising how easy I actually do have it. I think so far it's going well. She's a lovely girl, nice and friendly. 
it's going to be interesting to see how it sort of goes. Mm. The, more, the more comfortable she gets and the more she opens up, yeah. you know, the, the more we'll see how she truly thinks about things. But obviously, it's, it's quite fresh at the moment, so, mm. you yeah. know, it's, it's a little bit A bit, bit guarded, isn't it? But... but she's young as well, yes. you know. It'd be nice to be that young again. Yeah, get over it. Just gonna um, come in, sort out the lunch for the boys. It's lunchtime for kids of every age. The boys tend to go for a chocolate spread sandwich or jam sandwich. What would you normally have for lunch? Um, on the weekend, I tend to go out for lunch with my friends, go for brunch or something, mm. and just go for like a salad or like a pasta. Mm. How much do you spend on your lunches, like per week? About well, 60 quid a week, if that. How much do you think you roughly spend? a week on lunches just for yourself? I would probably, like, per lunch, maybe, like, over 30. Um, I think if we had £30 a day to spend just on what we needed, we'd be completely stocked. I don't think we'd be going for, like, the cheaper side of food. You know, we'd probably just have a bit more quality to the sort of stuff we, we are eating. Yeah. Shall we go and give White his sandwich before he starts tearing the place apart? Yeah. <laughs> With the boys fed and the flat still intact, it's time to walk it off at the park. OK, then, let's go out. We're going to take you to the park for a little bit, yeah? Leah has to stay home with Lily. So it's just Navina and the boys. Let's get under there. Oh, lovely. I know earlier that you mentioned how the financial struggles are really hissing your family. Just wondering how do you deal with that? Um, I, try, I try not to think about the financial side too much, you know, but obviously it's always in the back of my mind of... Yeah, of course. ..like, how am I going to feed them, clothe them, keep them warm? You know, have I got the money to do this? I'm quite lucky that I have Leah, because she, she deals with it so much better than I do. It does do stress it. me out, yeah, it does stress me out. You know, she takes care of that side, I take care of uh, entertaining the kids, keeping the house fine, you know, making sure their clothes are clean, making sure they're fed. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm sort of the house husband. <laughs> <laughs> so the benefits that you receive, how far does it actually stretch? Well, some weeks we have to obviously ring up family and friends and go, look, I'm a bit short, can you lend me X amount until this day and I'll pay you back? But then, obviously, you're paying back that money, so you're short that week again because <laughs> you've had to pay that money back. But as soon as it's in, it's out, because I would rather prioritise feeding, clothing and heating rather than other bills. Internet as well, because if we don't have internet, the kids will go stir-crazy. You know, the money that you've got literally just goes on surviving and keeping yourself alive. There's nothing really there to, you know, really have a life. So benefits really do provide you with a bare minimum? Oh, bare, bare minimum, bare minimum. I think there's people in worse situations than us. It's a scary thing to to think about going, oh, you know, we're heading, we're heading there. I'm sort of glad in a way they sort of opened your eyes and, you know, you're getting to experience this firsthand, so... Like, seeing your situation mm has, -hmm. like, made me realise, like, how hard people really do have it. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for the Ellerys to hear how Navina lives. You've got a two-bedroom flat. Yeah, yeah, so I do. Is that from the family or do you rent privately? Yes, yeah, so it's from my parents. It's one of their properties, so I just moved in when I was 18. And how much rent do you pay? I don't pay rent. OK. No, I just pay for, like, bills and utilities and stuff like that where I live. When I was at school, I was working as well as going and trying to get a degree, whereas she clearly, you know, she doesn't have to worry about rent or anything like that, so it's not like she needs a job while she's mm. going through school. Yeah. How much would you say that you pay on your rents for this place? So we actually get housing benefits, so it's completely covered. I see. Yeah. I haven't been able to work since before I had Lily, and I had to give up university as well. And then I've had to obviously give up working to stay at home and help out with Leah and Lily. So I'd love to go to work. But I would I, love to go back to work. Can't, do I can't it. afford it. Because then we would have to start worrying about the rent and yeah. all those extra things. You know, we've got the living crisis at the moment, we've got the energy crisis at the moment. Like, we're, we're just about getting by. 
as, as it, it is. is. So are you feeling the pinch of the cost of living crisis at the moment? Like... I'm definitely noticing how much my bills are going up and how much I'm spending on, on expenses. Mm. But to say it's actually affecting me is different. I wouldn't say it, it is. No. Yeah, you're noticing it, but you're not suffering for it. Yeah, you? exactly. Yeah. So you're not yeah. having to choose between uh, eating and heating? No. They definitely have it really hard. The fact that they've said that it's either they're eating or they're putting on the heating, that's really difficult to hear because it's something I definitely don't struggle with. I'm not really, I don't know I've had to face that ever in my life. Hearing the real life, like, experience of that is really hard to hear. So do you cook at home a lot? Um, I would say I definitely don't cook. I'm not much of a chef. Um, OK. I say I definitely tend to eat out. So how much would you say you spend a week eating out, then? In the realms of nearly 300, potentially. Wow, wow. That's a lot of eating out. So what's the most expensive meal you've ever had? I think I've been at dinners with the bills, like, been upwards, like, 15k. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> I think I would have a heart attack if I saw a bill that much. I think our most expensive bill came to about well, £100, wasn't it? What, for a meal? When we went out for a family, innit? Oh, it's, we went to a restaurant just down the road because we'd had they had two for £15 on the pizzas and the bill came out to just over 100 because we'd actually got it wrong and they didn't have two for 15 and it, it messed us up for the week. Yeah. It was double what yeah, we were expecting it to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have any, like, buffer of extra money that you can spend if you need to? No. no uh, as no, quick as it comes in, it goes out. You know, there's, there's always something going on that you yeah. need to pay for. The fact that Leah overspent by fifty pounds on one thing and threw her off the whole month, like to me, fifty pounds, I would just like spend on a new blouse if I fancied it. So it was really shocking for me to hear that. Oh, I, mean, I used to be a baker, so I can oh, give I you, definitely give you some hints yeah. on how to make some <laughs> bread and pizzas and all that. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, my parents are really good cooks, but I never picked up on it. You didn't have to, you know. You can see that the difference is immediately. She's clearly been raised in a family that talked properly for yeah. one. You know, you see she's well looked after, beautiful teeth, <laughs> beautiful skin, good all of posture. That sort of stuff. Good exactly. Posture. Comfortably studying a law degree whilst going out to eat £300 a week. That really expensive meal, do you think it was like tiny little portions? I want a steak painted gold for <laughs> that sort of money. Yeah. Navina is about to get her first taste of Leah's curry and Matt's homemade roti. Ready for dinner? Yeah. Ready for a home-cooked curry? Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Leah's a fantastic cook. Her speciality is curries. She would eat curry for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's all right. What do you think? Mm-hmm. All good? It's so nice. <laughs> How is the bread? Is the bread good? It's lovely. I'm glad. And this cost about 20p to make all of those compared to, like, four or five pounds if you went out and bought them. That many rotis near Navina's flat would cost 27 pounds. Oh, they are really nice. So, yeah, this whole meal probably cost less than a fiver. I've, you know, we fed our whole whole family for yeah. it. Like, if I go out in London, I'm spending, like, over 10 pounds on a cocktail. So the mm. fact that you can spend five pounds on a good meal for your family is really impressive. Mm. You want your dinner, that's what that is, isn't it? How do you feel about a little, uh, little guest joining us? I'm not too fond of animals, actually. I'm not much of an animal person, but I'm not too opposed to it. Oh, she just wants attention. Or your dinner. You want your <laughs> dinner, don't you? I think Navina wants her to get off the couch. I really enjoyed the dinner. I was actually so impressive that they made that entire meal for family under five pounds. Hey, baby. Hey. Oh, good. It's lovely. What are your cooking skills like? Uh, <laughs> less than minimum. She'll get the opportunity tomorrow when she... We'll send her out to the shops. Sort out a meal for us. Sort out a meal for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> you, look, you look terrified by that, but don't worry, we'll, we'll be we'll we'll here. Well, I've never cooked a meal for, for a whole family before, or let alone like a group of people. This is the norm for us. She's realising that five pounds doesn't even cover delivery. Like one day, we're going to cook for my family, for a partner, but just right now, I just don't really think I need to do that. But I am more appreciative that you can have a nice evening and not go out. Don't speak too soon, Navina. The family do have a night out planned on their own building's roof terrace. I want a flower! <gasps> Can you see them? Oh, there you go. So many. Boys, over there. So we come up here to see all the fireworks because you can literally see 
all of them across London. Yeah, you get such a good view, like spanning the whole. It's amazing. Thing. They've got four displays going on right now that they can <laughs> take their pick <laughs> from. Take their pick of which yeah. one they want to look at. Yeah, kids free, are entertainment free entertainment for free the kids. Free entertainment for the kids. And the kids can also run about, and we don't have to worry about them getting lost or anything like that. <laughs> yeah. And it doesn't cost anything, so it's, it's fun to do. Fun and costs nothing is a new concept for Navina. Well, what would you do to go see some fireworks or an entertainment sort of thing? This time of year, I love going to like see the ballet and stuff, like in London in the evening. How much would that normally cost, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, tickets can kind of range. Mm. I kind of go for like the medium kind of price. Never been to the ballet, so like medium price means nothing to me. It's one price down from a large. I think last time I went, I was saw Swan Lake. I think my tickets were like a hundred. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah. I mean, we were I wouldn't go to the ballet. ballet. No. <laughs> kids, kids wouldn't understand ballet. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh! How many are there? How many do you think? One hundred. <gasps> so many. You definitely see how it's the time that you spend with them and they still have such a good evening yeah. and not the money that you have to expend on their experience. No, you don't have to spend anything, really, to, for kids to enjoy it. Just yeah. spend the time with them and yeah. they're happy. Definitely, you can definitely see that. As the night ends, the Ellery family have spent less than £10 to feed and amuse their kids for an entire day. You had a fun day? Yeah? Good night. Good night. We're going to get ready for bed. OK. Kids are down. Hopefully, they'll sleep through, but we'll, we'll see. OK. Just get your head down, get some rest. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Naveen, you've been uh, really nice today. Um, not, not what I expected at all. No, she's very friendly. Yeah, very friendly. Very good. down to earth. Well, normally, I would just be comfortable in my own house, in my own bed. And obviously, right now, I'm sleeping on someone's sofa. So Manly did mention that their daughter does wake them up in the night, that it might be something I'm going to have to just deal with. I feel like part of me is worried if I don't, if I'm not going to get a good night's sleep, but I feel like I can make it work. With or without a full night's sleep, Navina has a big day ahead tomorrow. Coming up, Navina might be comfortable with big spending. I would probably only spend like 20K, 15K on like a piece of art. But small change is a handful. I don't know how much that amounts to, but my mouth is so bad, it's definitely not my strong point, so I'm gonna struggle. <laughs> 20 year old law student Navina has closed her books and opened her eyes. Ooh. To the real cost of living. The money that you've got literally just goes on surviving. There's nothing really there to have a life. Navina spent the night on the sofa, dreaming about her queen-size bed. Last night was really good. I had like a solid like seven hours sleep, but no disruptions, which was nice. It's the breakfast rush, and Mum Leah's buttering for Britain. I can definitely see the difference in the morning of like a really busy like family running around trying to look after all their children, making sure they're all ready. Because obviously I live by myself, so it's kind of been like everything revolving around what I want to do. Toast. What do you normally make for your children for breakfast? Uh, they're quite big cereal eaters, aren't you? You love cereal. They'll just eat and eat. But what sort of things do you eat for breakfast? Um, normally it tends to go out for breakfast. And I'm quite like busy in the mornings. You even eat breakfast away from your home. You don't... Yeah, if like, I have like quite productive days, so normally if I'm in uni in the morning, I just get it like from a cafe when I'm in Central or something. Oh. I mean, we don't have that luxury, but like, kids are happy in the mornings, aren't they? Yeah. Good. Is there anything that you eat at home or? But yeah, I do like eat at home sometimes, like my coffee in the morning sometimes. Technically, you don't eat coffee. It kind of just depends what I'm doing. So what type of coffee do you normally have at home, then? Um, I really like cappuccinos. Cappuccinos? Yeah, that's, like, my favourite. I'm more instant coffee, cos that's more affordable for us. Not if you eat it. I think, like, roughly, if I was going to go for breakfast in Central, mm. I'd probably, probably just under, like, £10. Mm. I think we roughly spend, if we can, less than 20 a day trying to feed the entire family. Yeah. Uh, if we did have that sort of money, I think I would probably treat the kids a little bit more to some takeaways if we can. Probably treat the kids more than I treat myself. <laughs> Speaking of treats, Navina has a sweet surprise in her bag. What have we got? Oh, 
thank you. Chocolates. Oh, they look nice. Yum, 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 yum. How much are they? How much are they? Um, they're around 50, 50 pounds. They best be good. They best be good for that sort of money. Yeah, I do hope so. No. Actually, I've got an idea for a game. Let's go to the kitchen. Yeah, in the kitchen. Ooh. Yeah. Leah's planning a taste test to pit Navina's posh chocks against the Ellery's family favourites. Oh. Put this on. Let's go. Chocolates. Ooh. Ooh, chocolates. What's the game you have for us? What are we going to be doing? So we're going to do a taste test. OK. See if you can tell the difference between our chocolates and your chocolates. Expensive versus cheap. Yeah. Okay. It's nice. It's chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, so second plate. Okay. Right. There right, you then. go. I do not like this one. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does just taste like less, like lower quality. Have Navina's well-trained taste buds clocked the cut price confectionery? Um, I think overall, I think the first one was the most expensive one. I think this was the cheaper one. No. Was I wrong? You were wrong. Mm. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> That's the more expensive one. Yeah, I'm not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> not buying them again. So what is that, what is that to us? <laughs> more money doesn't mean that it's going to be better. Yeah, I can definitely agree. Mm. Hopefully you won't spend £50 on chocolates again. <laughs> I think Navina's opening her eyes a bit more to, you know, the fact that regardless of the, the price of something, you can still be happy with what you've got. Um, you don't have to be chucking money at everything. Artist Leah loves spending time getting crafty with her kids. And playing with iron beads. You just make little pictures. First, no. What have you got? Um, um, what have you done? I'm doing red for nine. Yeah. I couldn't do it. You couldn't do it? What do you normally make when you do these? It's normally like portraits or um, just cartoon characters. Wow. Is it quite time consuming? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because like for a full portrait, it's normally like 10,000 beads. Oh, my goodness. That's so no Naveena's patience won't stretch to 10,000 beads. Do you really enjoy oh, doing it? Yeah. You. It's just so relaxing. You just have some music on. Yeah. After uh, you've been running around, after children all day, that always surprised me reasonably affordable. I mean, I tend to buy, like, crafting stuff secondhand. Oh, I see. How about you? What sort of hobbies do you do? Um, I do appreciate art, but I can't say I have the patience to sit down and actually do a painting. Yeah. yeah. I think one day I would love to collect art. What sort of no! art would you collect if you could I feel collect? like modern art pieces, but I think... I would probably only spend, like, 20k, 15k on, like, a piece of art. 15k to us, that would just get us out of any sort of debt we've got, you know, pay off the car. It just seems outrageous to me. I couldn't imagine spending 15k on a single piece of artwork. What artwork would you have around the house that you've done? So, most of the stuff you see on the walls that I've done is this one. It's a oh, little wow. bit more elegant. Yeah, no, I love it. I love the colour. The purple looks so nice against the gold. It's a nice way just to unwind after. When the kids yeah, have gone children. to bed. Definitely. Yeah, I love it. It's so yeah. beautiful. Thank you. It was fun doing the arts and crafts. We definitely have the same sort of artistic thing going on, but too rich for my blood. Navina's calling her friend Chisabem like she promised, all the way back home, 13 miles away. Hi. I'm really good. I'm actually having such a good time, really enjoying myself. Oh, are you really? Yeah, it's actually so fun. Where are you right now? In East London. They live in East London. But yeah, the whole family is really, really good, really like welcoming. It's really cool. So, like, what are they like? They have two sons and daughter. How old are they? The kids. So that like toddlers like running around. So obviously, I'm not used to that oh. either. And they have green hair. They literally have green hair. Oh, even the parents? <laughs> yeah, and the mum, Leah, does. That is so cool. <laughs> Did you have to share a room with anyone? No, I actually like, slept on their sofa, but I, my, my sleep wasn't disturbed at all, so that was good, because that was kind of like, important for me. It's quite clear they have it really hard, but like the way that they make do what they have is, is, like, is really nice to see. It's a really good lesson as well. Yeah, it's a really, really good experience for me. Are you going to miss it? Um, not necessarily miss it, but I've learned from it. <laughs> Yesterday, the family had a meal and it cost like five pounds for the entire dinner and like more. 
and today I actually have to like make a meal for them on like, with like a really limited budget of like the whole family. I'm so scared because I don't know what I'm gonna make. Cats is always a good option. Yeah, I think that's what I'm kind of gonna do. I think that's my idea. Actually, I think it was your friend's idea. She literally just said it. Uh, good luck with cooking. <laughs> Thank you, I'm going to need it. OK, bye. Bye. Navina spends over £300 a week dining out. Off to you. Thanks. That would feed the entire Ellery family for a fortnight. Right. Um, we are going to give you £8 for you to find ingredients to cook a meal for the family. OK, so I have eight pounds for a family of six. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think Matt's enjoying this more than Navina. I've never been, like, limited to how much I want to spend on my food before like this, so this is going to... I'm going to have to think about this a lot. Thinking. Good plan. Now, where's the pasta? OK, so I'm thinking noodles. She knows noodles aren't the same as pasta, right? It's 69p for one, so I'm thinking maybe, like, three. Or four. I think four. I don't know how much that amounts to, but... My mouth is so bad, it's definitely not my strong point, so I'm going to struggle. <laughs> I, think it, I think it's OK. Matt's making popping sounds. Hopefully he's OK. I think I'm getting chicken or some sort of meat, so I think that might be the bit what's most expensive. I'm trying to find... Um, like pre cooked chicken, I think. So they might be a bit cheaper than um, like fresh chicken, but I don't see any here. Okay, so I'm not finding the chicken what I want. So I'm gonna get some chorizo, but I don't know how much it is. Posh sausage, is this going to be a budget buster? Hi, um, how much is this? This is $1.99. Okay, thanks. Okay, this is $1.99, which is. £2, two pounds, two eighty, like five pounds, <laughs> round <it> up. <laughs> so I think I can get a more expensive sauce. See, Navina, you can do maths. Okay, so I put those back because I'm just gonna go pasta instead. Okay, Matt stopped popping, but he's still looking anxious. This one is one nineteen for this entire packet, so I think I'm gonna go with this one because it's the cheapest. Um, I think I might get two because. There's a family of six. So I think I'm going to get this one. It is 2 39 My re remaining budget is 120 and there is some sweet corn here for a pound. So I think I can get this and add it to for dinner. Hello. Hi. Hi, right, what did you manage to find? So we got some pasta, some sweet corn, um, some pasta sauce and some treats. Oh, yeah, yeah, that looks good. It's all in budget, so I think Fantastic. I did pretty well. I think you've done pretty well as well. Let's get it paid for, get it home, to get it cooked. Yeah. 771. Nice. 30p within budget. I think you've done really well there. Yeah, so have I. I hope you like it. Oh, yeah, fingers like... crossed. Yeah. Let's go home. With the shopping challenge over, it's the cooking challenge next. Coming up, Navina's putting the stretch in home stretch. Yeah, I actually don't cook a lot of pasta or cook at all in general. As the Ellery's goth kitchen becomes a cauldron of chaos. Yeah, I'm really, really hating this right now. I'm not enjoying any second of this. Law student Navina's nailed her budget challenge. 30p within budget. I think you've done really well there. Now all she has to do is boil some water. How hard can that be? I'm just waiting for the water to boil, and I'll put the pasta in. 11 minutes? Is that how long it normally takes for pasta? Yeah, I actually don't cook a lot of pasta, or cook at all in general, so... <laughs> I'm not worried about her not having cooked before. I don't think there's any way she could really go wrong. Why? I don't, I just make it Oh my god, I can't. Okay, I'm actually really hating this right now. Is it going as plan? No, it's not going as plan. <laughs> yeah, I'm really, really hating this right now. I'm not enjoying any second of this. I'm making a mess and I don't know if I'm doing this right. I would 100% get a personal chef if I had children because there's no way that I'd be doing this. 
Because I think I'm going to be working like long hours in a career, coming home late, and not have time to like chef up these meals, especially when I don't even know how to cook or have the patience to even do this. I would literally get physically angry. I have no intention of now improving my cooking skills. <laughs> to be fair, the only way is up from here. OK, I'm just going to see if it's, if it's ready. OK, it's still pretty hard, but if this was for me, I would just eat it anyway, because I don't want to wait until it cooks. But I feel like because it's for other people, I'm actually going to wait until it's cooked. Because I don't think it's appropriate for children or anyone, actually. It definitely makes me appreciate the fact that Manlia made, like, a, a curry for everyone on, like, a very minimal budget, because I know my parents did make us all meals, but they weren't restricted financially. OK, so the pasta's done. Stir it in. I feel a bit more positive about this meal now. A bowl of this at a restaurant is literally £30, like 100%. The amount of effort I put into this, this labour, absolutely, this is exquisite. It might be exquisite, but more importantly, it's dinner. <laughs> oh. Here's a dinner prepared for you. Oh. oh. What did do you well. think? Mm -hmm. did really good. Really good. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For your first time cooking, that was really good. Yeah. Well Thank you. And yeah. it's therapeutic as well, cooking. I'll take your word for it. I was a bit more stressed than... <laughs> I, I think this, this is just quite high stress, but, yeah. I mean, when you're by yourself and you're yeah. cooking for yourself, mm. you, can, you just go with the flow. Go with it. the flow. OK. I, I think you're definitely on your way to get your Michelin star. Mm. That's the only thing I can ask. On reflection, I think I did really well. Modest, too. I'm really, really surprised and happy with the reaction I got. They seemed really pleased. And it's made me think that you can have a really nice meal on such a small budget, and also the fact that I spend a lot and I don't really need to. Given the option, would you be cooking for yourself again, or would you rather still pay somebody else to do it? I've definitely learned that I ain't going to either need to pay someone to make my children food, because I'm not doing it, or <laughs> actually learn. Well, so... it could be a better idea to pay someone to teach you to cook. Pay to learn. Yeah, I'll take that on board. Yeah. yeah, the face says no. She's absolutely not going to change her ways. She's yeah. too happy in the way she's got it, and I can't blame her, to be honest. I don't blame I'd her. I'd be comfortable no. in that situation, too. Yeah. I definitely have so much respect for the fact that Manly and have such a limited amount of money they can spend on their food day to day, and they still look after the kids every single day, like, run around the house to them all the time, and still provide food for them. So I have so much respect for that. <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you so much for letting me stay at your house over this weekend. I've actually enjoyed myself so much and learned a lot. You're so welcome. glad. So as a thank you, I've got you a little immersive, multi-sensory experience for you to enjoy with the children, and I think it'll be really great for them. Well, at least she's made up for her cooking with a thoughtful present. Oh, brilliant. Lily's going to love Lily that. Lily will love that. It sounds right thank up you her so Thank you so much. So, as a parting gift, we've got you Crystals. Thank you so much. That is so okay. sweet. I've been admiring all your crystals around the house. Yeah. This is so lovely. Picked out the ones that you kept your eye on. Really? Yeah. Yeah. They're Sorry. so pretty. Thank you so much. That's you're so kind of you. No, you're all well. You're welcome back anytime. Thank you. That's you really kind of you. Want to rough it anytime? Just yeah. give us a call. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Was I kind of the person that you expected to come and live the same lifestyle that you live this weekend? Ah, uh, definitely. Honestly, not. no. I I was expecting someone to be quite snobby. You know, maybe a little bit cold. Yeah. You're a lot more empathetic than I thought you were going to be. Thank you, that's so nice to hear. Yeah. You seem to have a good, a, head, a, on a, a good head on your shoulders. And thank a, you, thank and you. And a grasp on life. The witching hour is upon Navina, and it's time for her to leave the Ellery's spooky flat. Well, thank you so much for having me. I've really enjoyed my stay. Again, you're welcome back anytime. Thank you. See you later. Safe Bye. travels. Have a safe trip. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. The goodbye was kind of bittersweet. It was really sad to go, but also I do want my own bed back. I think I definitely will take their way of life home with me. I think I'll have like a greater gratitude for what I have and really appreciate the value of money more. I feel like that went really well. She was lovely. I don't think Navina is going to change her spending habits whatsoever. And I wouldn't want her to. I mean, if you've got the opportunity and the privilege to have that sort of lifestyle... Go for it. Go for it. Why give it up? <laughs>